Hello and welcome to Deep Sea Learning with the Georgia Aquarium. My name is Monique and I'm a part of the educational team. Today I will be discussing moon phases and how it affects our wildlife, more specifically the sea turtles. As the moon revolves around the earth, the sun illuminates different parts of the moon. This creates different moon phases. These moon phases show either more or less light as it illuminates the earth. The differences in the moon phases affects our wildlife. The moon takes about 29 and a half days to revolve around the earth, showing eight different phases. When sea turtles nest, they hatch at night and they use the light from the moon to direct them towards their home in the ocean. So as you can see, the moon plays a very important part for these baby sea turtles to get home safe and sound. Today, I'm gonna show you guys a fun activity using Oreos where you will be able to create your own moon phases. The first phase can be done by just using one Oreo, splitting it in half. If you scrape this part of the Oreo off, you will get the first phase, which is the new moon. And then the other half can be the full moon. Also, splitting it apart like so. You cut down the center. And you take off one half. This can be your waxing half or your waning half. So, a completed phase will look like this. The first stage is the new moon. This is when the moon is the darkest because the sun is directly behind it. The second stage is the waxing crescent. This is where there's only a silver lining of the moon illuminated. The third stage is the waxing half. This is where only the right side of the moon is illuminated. The fourth stage is the waxing gibbous. This is where the moon is almost completely illuminated. The fifth stage is the full moon stage. This is where the moon is at its complete illumination and it is completely facing the earth. The sixth stage is the waning gibbous. This is where the sunlight is slowly decreasing its illumination. The seventh stage is the waning half. This is where only the left side of the moon is illuminated. And the last stage is the waning crescent. This is where only the silver lining of the moon is shown and it's also the last stage. And then it completely repeats the cycle again, starting with the new moon. The artificial lighting is called light pollution. This is when the sea turtles are directed in the opposite way to where they need to go. Reports have shown that some sea turtles end up in backyards, pool, or different things of that nature because of light pollution. So I've got two ways for you guys to help out these baby sea turtles. The first way, if you visit an active nesting area, it is important to turn off all lights or cover lights to reduce the amount of light pollution that may affect newly hatched turtles. And secondly, if you're walking the beach at night and you have a flashlight, just take a red piece of tissue paper, wrap it around the flashlight with a rubber band. And when you're shining it, the red spectrum of the light becomes invisible to the animals, which means you're able to still see and that the sea turtles will not be affected. So if you see a sea turtle nest, completely avoid it. And again, do not flash any lights into the nest. Okay guys, I hope you had fun and learned a great deal about how the moon affects our sea turtles. Join us again for another session of Deep Sea Learning and I hope you have a great day.